In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five-year timeline slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have downloaded this image from unsplash.com of an hourglass and you can use this as a background or you can use any image of your choice in the background. So when I click, it will show me the year and then in the gradient boxes, you can add the title and the detail text. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw a rectangle from the left side of the slide maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to cover this slide by using five more uh, rectangles of equal size okay so let me just zoom out a little bit hold the control shift key and just give a little spacing between this all right and then go to the select both hold the control shift key just drag it and then the last one you can see here this is this is the size of the rectangles exceeding the area of the our slide size so uh, don't worry about that one so first of all i'm selecting all these shapes and press ctrl g to group it then you can see here you can use this one you can see here you can just reduce the size to match to the size of your slide okay so once this is done right mouse click go to the format shape and I'm going to insert a picture into this particular rectangles. Okay, one picture. So for that, I'm going to use the picture which I have downloaded from unsplash.com or any picture of your choice you can choose. So in this example, I'm going to show you this picture. So select this picture, press Ctrl C to copy, come here. Okay, then come to the picture or texture fill and you can click on the clipboard. Okay, just click on the clipboard. It looks something like this. And here you can see the offset properties, untick this one. And then you can see here the, the, the image looks like kind of a squeezed in this one. So we have to give it the right uh, dimensions to it or the measures. Okay, for that, I'm going to increase the bottom and the top. Okay, so you can see here, you can just the uh, Y axis or the bottom axis, you can just align it properly. So it looks perfectly all right for me here. Then go to the view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a vert uh, horizontal rectangle, okay, maybe this much size. All right, make sure to align, make sure to have, first of all, no outline, then go to align center, align middle, and give a different color to it. Here I'm going to give a kind of orange color. Then I'm going to insert one oval shape, go to insert shape, select the oval shape, click it here and height and width I'm going to make this as 0.25, you can see here and then I'm going to fill this with a kind of yellow color, you can see here and shape outline I'm going to give, uh, go to more outline colors and here go to the standards, select this one which is a kind of a orange color click ok and increase the weight of this one so you can see here it should look like this and then exactly in the center of uh, each rectangle you need to put it so hold the control shift key and drop it exactly in the center of each rectangle you can see here all right yes so then once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a text box and I'm going to type the year 2020, starting with 2020, center align, make the font color as white and I'm going to use open sans extra bold. Okay, and again, if you want, you can increase to uh, 24 or maybe, maybe 24 is too big, maybe 20, okay. And here I have reduced the, this uh, slide size. You can click here and bring it to the normal. All right. Then I'm holding the. I'm going to hold the Control Shift key, drag it for each under each rectangle. This the year should be there. Uh, not the rectangle, the oval shape. You can see here. And here also the last one. 
and then the alternate one this and this i would like to bring this to the top okay so one is the bottom another is the top so here i'm going to change this to 2021 2022 23 and 24 all right once this is done go to insert shape select one rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and select the gradient fill here so the gradient fill i'm going to use only two stops so two stops i'm deleting so one stop i'm going to choose a color maybe a kind of uh, uh, say a uh, pink color and and one side i'm going to use some orange color so this color combination or any other co color combination you can choose so now for this make sure the transparency level to keep to 15 percent and here also transparency level for each top should be at 15 percent okay then hold the control shift key just bring it on top of the rectangles okay and release the control shift key and then do the same exercise okay then these two i'm going to select and bring this down here okay then let's select all these rectangles only the gradient rectangles and start sending back so you can see here the out the the timeline is started looking visible now okay once this is done you can go to the insert text box add a title here center align use the white font again open sans extra bold if you want and put it exactly on top of this oval shape make sure it is center go to the insert text box equals lorem within brackets one and i don't want this much large text i'm going to delete that some part center align you can see here make the font as white and put it exactly here you can see here and select both this text press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate bring it here ctrl d bring it here you can see here and then the last one and if you want you can add some icons to it okay so once this is done it's time to do the animation to do the animation before the first one step we need to follow we have to group it okay so i'm going to select this the hold the shift key select this and then the ear do not select the uh, small oval shapes okay and press ctrl g to group it so again select this one this one and this one ctrl g again you can see the oval shape is going behind the rectangles not a problem we will bring it back so this one this and this press ctrl g now select all these rectangles start sending back okay again the ear and these oval shapes are visible okay this is done so go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the oval shapes only by holding the shift key and bring this and make the use of fly in animation okay so fly in animation this animation and this year 2021 and 2023 it should come from top the rest should come from bottom so if i play it comes something like this you can see here all right now i'm going to use the same animation effect here select these rectangles fly in now fly in these two should come from top okay and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes like this so let me just put a slideshow it looks something like this all right 